The SAT tests this grammar rule every single time and your English teacher never even taught it to you. Now don't beat yourself up if you've never heard of these rules. Most English teachers focus on creative writing, not test taking strategies. The students who dominate the SAT writing section aren't necessarily the best writers. They're the ones who understand the test's hidden patterns. Now this is a typical question on the SAT English exam. I know this passage looks like a lot, but it's not. Anytime you have a question that goes over verb forms, all you need to do is just focus on that specific sentence, which means that the first part of the paragraph, we can just completely get rid of. Now that leaves us with this really clunky sentence, this avoidance of meticulous historical detail, perhaps blanks directors. Now, again, this sentence may look complex, but because there is a prepositional phrase that separates the noun from the verb, we can get rid of meticulous historical detail. Now, once we get rid of that prepositional phrase, we have a very clean sentence. This avoidance blanks directors. And we just want to use one of these answer choices right here. Very, very simple. Now, just plug in all of these answer choices, see which one makes the most sense. The easiest way to identify this is to just take a look at the noun of the sentence and see which one makes the most sense. Now, we know that the noun in this case is avoidance. This is a singular noun. There's only one avoidance. So if we put in A, this wouldn't make sense. This avoidance encourage directors? No, that doesn't really work. This avoidance encourages would have worked, but in this case, we don't want to include this one. So A is out of the picture. Now the next one, this avoidance are encouraging. Now that doesn't make sense because R is used for multiple things. This avoidance is one thing. So we don't even care about that. We can get rid of B as well. Now, what about for C? If you said this avoidance have encouraged, that just doesn't really make any sense because have is for multiple things. You only have one avoidance. So this is very much the same as B. So we don't need C as well. Now the last one, just by process of elimination, D must be our answer. But if you want to prove it, just say this avoidance has encouraged. Okay. This avoidance has encouraged. That sounds right because has is for a singular noun and avoidance again is a singular noun. If you want to master time-saving SAT shortcuts that add a hundred plus points to your SAT in just six weeks, I break down exactly how to do it in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word shortcuts on my Instagram or my Facebook and I'll send it over to you for free.